thought this movie was gonna be scary. I literally thought I was gonna be in there like. Guys, <gasps> 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 I am back and I am about to go to the movies. So, I'm about to see this movie where this family has to be silent or else um, some type of big monster, creature, alien, person thing comes and get them. Um, I'm actually going to meet up with Teddy and Terry and we're going to go see it and I'll give you guys my honest opinion on what I feel about the movie. What I think I would do in this situation because first off, I cannot live with being quiet because I like music so that would be kind of impossible. So, I don't know. but. Once we go to the movies and we leave, I'll give you guys my review on it. So, I'll be back. We are at the movies. I'm rushing it. Meeting it's up with my friends. It's summertime and I'm rushing it. It's summertime and I'm rushing it. My shirt's out and I'm rushing it. It's summertime 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 and I'm rushing it. You have my plant based milk. I'm rushing it. It's warm. Warmer than your mama's. <gasps> she balling at the casino. Oh my God. <laughs> Hey, what's down there, like we about to go see what's what, what no. yeah. called. No, no. oh, I'll put that spinach in. Bye, she eat it. Yeah. Chris, how did you like the movie? <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> Where imagine, you going? Imagine being in the hood and not being able to be ghetto. That's how I felt about it. <laughs> $15 for my icy and my nachos that took me the entire time to fucking eat. <laughs> Because that movie was silent and I couldn't eat my nachos for every noise. It was crunch, crunch. And the black man At next first, to me kept moving I, I was like in there, he was I was in there taking notes because I'm about to do a movie review. So I was like, mm. no. the movie went? was? The movie thought, was. Ooh. Why would we do this movie? Why we didn't do this for Black Panther? What? <laughs> oh, sorry. Why we didn't do um, one for Black Panther? Why we didn't go to Wakanda to see this movie? This movie that we just saw? <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> um, I thought the movie was okay. Um, what would you rate it? I would rate it, uh, I would, I would rate it a 6.5 out of 10, but for a whole number wise, I'll give it a 7 out of 10. I would rate it beanies and weenies. <laughs> and what is that supposed to be? I like the concept of almost like a silent film, but other than that, I, I don't want to read. And, and they, was able to and get they a also had person. a daughter who was deaf. Yep. Ooh, yep, oh, yep. The, the first time you get a deaf person in a movie. <laughs> <laughs> First time you get a deaf person in the movie, yeah, you sign language. <laughs> not right, no, it was really that I mean, sign language wasn't even okay, real. Okay, no, it was this not. Was this was this was real. First this of means all, this I know sign language. Oh, ASL. We know that. We know what this means too. Okay. Every black person know what the class. But can we get into other news? All of my friends' skin is on fleek. I've been watching too many murder mystery movies I can't wait and to watch unsolved mysteries and don't, don't, stuff like that. Don't, don't, don't. So if I am in across the hall and I tell Christina, she, I think she should know. Me and Christina have been watching unsolved mysteries, so I think. And if she, I've been watching. Wait. Don't, 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 don't. Maternity court. <laughs> <laughs> so I think if I go across the hall and I'm like, can we not stand up here like you're old? All right, hey guys, as you can see, I am back from the movie theater. Um, I just wanna talk about this movie, and I'm just so. Uh, a Quiet Place. So the movie is called A Quiet Place, and when I was watching the previews for it, I was like, okay, this may be cute or whatever, and I, it totally went over my head that we would be looking at a movie that we would have to read the damn subtitles because the family can't make no damn noise. I'm just gonna go straight into it. I thought this movie was gonna be scary. I literally thought I was gonna be in there like. <laughs> no, the monster was kind of weird though. Whatever that alien type thing was, kind of sci-fi-ish thing, that thing looked scary, but the movie itself was not scary. It was nothing that you would uh, be jumping and hollering and screaming and come home being afraid of unless you obviously was in that circumstance, which we are not, so wasn't really scary at all. So as the movie starts, it starts in like a, a grocery store or a shop and 
there's a mom, there's a dad, there's a little boy, and then there's a girl. The daughter is like an older daughter. She may be like 13 or 14. She's deaf. And then there is a little boy who clearly just can't follow the rules and want to be hard-headed. So they was walking out, and you know they can't really make noise, so um, there was an airplane, a rocket. So he drew on the floor like a rocket is what's going to get us out of here. So it was cool. He saw a spaceship, a little NASA spaceship, and it had two batteries in it. And the father and the whole family saw it. So they obviously like tuned in on it and started like zooming in and stuff like mm. They took it from him and laid it down and they took the batteries out. Obviously because the thing looked like it made noise. It obviously made a noise or flashed or did something because they had batteries in it. So the dad took the batteries out and put it on the counter and they walked out. So the dad walks out, the mom walks out, the deaf girl looks like, I'm gonna give it to you. So she ends up giving him the, um, the spaceship and he grabs the batteries when she's not looking. So they're walking, I guess they're going back home because it's getting dark. Dad's walking, holding the, the sick, oh, it was another sick boy. I'm sorry, it was, a, it was a, uh, two boys. So it was one boy, one child was sick, the dad was carrying him, so that's two people. Then the wife, that's three people. Then the deaf girl, that's four people. And then the little boy, which is five people. So there's five people at first. Uh, the dad, the mom, the 13 year old, like a nine year old, and then like a four year old. I'm guessing their ages because I don't know. So they're um, walking, they're walking, they're walking, and then they hear like this sound, like, and then a flash and alarm. And then the dad tries to run and get him, and the little boy just got pretty much kidnapped or dismantled by this alien looking type thing just came and got it so it is very serious you cannot make any noise you make a noise as soon as they hear they're gonna come get you so loud noises definitely they'll come get you small noises um i think you'll be safe with just like sprinkles or something like that um so now it's four people because the mom, I mean, we have the we have the dad, we have the mom, we have the bigger girl, and we have the older boy. So now it's just four of them. They um they have to walk on sand. They have like this light system, so that way, if something was to happen, instead of it being white lights, it'll light up red. So that way, I'm guessing that somebody, the family knows that something's going on. So we gotta tread lightly, or save somebody, or do something. They have like a bunch of things that's set up just in case and they always say that the dad will come back for them at the little rocket place if um, something were to happen. So they have things set up. They look like they know what they're doing. Um, proper protocol for things. I just, I started noticing that the mom looks pregnant and she turned out to be pregnant. But my thing is, how are you gonna have a baby, sis? I don't understand. I don't understand. Cause the baby gonna cry. How are you going to have it underwater? Are you just going to have the baby and have a conversation with the baby like, hey. So are you going to have a conversation with the baby like, hey, yo, we live in a world where you can't speak, so you can't cry, you can't burp, you can't fart, you can't do none of this stuff, so we won't die. To a baby, a newborn baby. So I don't think that was the smartest move for the family. Obviously, there's no doctors, there's no one else that exists yet. Hint, hint. Um, and... Y'all yeah, finna have a baby. So there also was a part where, now I did get a little scared at this part. There was the little girl and the boy that was playing Monopoly and the boy had hit a lantern over and it broke and there was a loud sound and the, the first thing started coming. First of all, some little animals jumped off the roof. Then something started coming. Now, I'll be honest, I would have been freaking out because you know how hard it is to like, not breathe hard or breathe loud. Like I couldn't be in no hostage, well now I could be in a, I could honestly be in a hostage situation because I'm smart. I watch a lot of movies and I think I know mostly what to do. I know to be quiet. I know to comply with certain things. And I know if I have to be quiet like like that, you hold your breath. Have you ever seen the descent where the, the monster was climbing over her face and she had to just like lay there? Sometimes you just got to play dead and not breathe and not move and not do that. And, you know, I, I, just, I just knew that. I knew what to do. Now, these, these, these people don't know what they're doing. No, they do not know what they're doing and they need to be careful. And my thing is, shut up. 
Stop breathing. Stop moving. Do what you have to do and shut up. Now, fast forward a little bit. The dad takes the son out somewhere to a waterfall where he tells him that, you know, they're talking really loud and um, he's letting him know that small sounds don't don't cause anything but loud, loud sounds do. Or you can, if you have a sound that's larger than what they can hear, then they won't be able to hear it. So they were at the waterfall and at a stream so they could talk regularly because they weren't able to be heard over the waterfall, which is really cool. It's a key point. And um, later on in the movie, the wife hides under a waterfall because the monster's coming to get her and a newborn baby um, after she had the damn baby. But let's get to that point. So the mom is in the house. She about two, she had a calendar and she marked on it like, it was about two weeks that she was about to have this baby. Probably not, probably like less than that. Probably like six or seven days. And she's washing clothes or whatever. So she's walking up the stairs and her bag get caught. The laundry bag with the clean clothes and it gets caught on the stairs and it pulls a nail up. So now. now we have a nail just sticking out of the floor. Um for someone to step on it. Mind you, if you step on this, what's your first reaction? Your first reaction is to god dang scream. So if you scream, they gonna come for you. This movie, that part blew me because I'm just like, God, they had to, you know, movies, they just do stuff that just make you be like, Oh, I know what's going to happen. Duh, we all know what's going to happen. Somebody going to step on the nail screaming and the monster going to come. A whoop de doo Mom had the baby. The dad gets back. The family, like, they all over the place. Like, the kids over here, the mom is blaming herself for killing the baby. Well, not carrying this, the first baby who got kidnapped after she done just had this baby with blood all over it. And then the water coming down in the room. The kids are at a meal stuck in the corn thing. Then the, the daughter is deaf, so the dad made like a hearing aid thing for her. But that hearing aid is what prevents them from getting, the monsters from getting her because she can tap it and it's like a sonic sound. So it's like. And with that sound, they don't get her. And it's just so much that obviously, you know, when I do reactions and stuff like this, I, I don't want to give everything away. I want y'all to have something to go to the movies to see. However, I'm just letting you know that this movie was, uh, I don't like the way it ended just because I felt like I wanted to see some more people get eaten and stuff. <laughs> but that's just me. That sounds kind of evil. Oh, they did this in the movie. Just stop. Just stop. Y'all gotta go see it. That's the only thing I'm gonna say. It wasn't like, whoa, but it was like, okay, this is cool. I like the unique spin of having it. It almost was like a cool, silent film, but scary. I love scary movies. So this was a, the first scary movie I've seen that was coming out in the theater in a very long time. I think the last one I went to see was like Saw or something. The last Saw that came out. So I was pretty excited to see it. Um, I really would love to know what you guys think of it. I'm not going to give y'all everything. So let me know when y'all go see it. How you feel. What you rated. Uh, what you still. I know I was in my chair like oh god. What's going to happen next. Or, oh lord. Like I was definitely on some parts. I was like okay this is a little intense for me. Just because. You know you just build that like anticipation like what is gonna happen like who finna die or you know i just y'all know what to do drop a comment when y'all go see the movie please let me know what you guys feel about the movie what you rated um what you would have did in that situation because i know what i would have did i would have kept my damn mouth shut put on some airpods play some music i'll never know nothing going on but oh, i don't know i not even want to Anyways, just let me know. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for tuning in to my video. If this is your first time on my channel, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Also, give me a big thumbs up. Don't forget to turn on your post notifications as well, so that way when the next video comes out, you're the first to know. Don't be afraid to drop a comment, leave a message, you know, come back. I would love to see you guys back again. Get involved, you know, with your boy. And as always, until next time, I'm out.